Hi there. In this screencast, we're going to use QuickBooks uh, to look at some additional payroll features. So specifically, we'll customize uh, deductions and some incomes and uh, some taxable benefits. And we'll apply them to some of our employees and do a payroll check run. So I'm going to fire up Sage 50. And I'll open the last company I worked with, which is House of D. Takes a moment. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to close the welcome screen. And I'm going to change the names of some of my deductions um, to be particular to some of the deductions that I uh, use with my employees. So I'll choose Setup, Settings, Payroll names and we have incomes and deductions so I'm gonna change uh, salary to wages here I'm gonna change income 3 to bonus income 4 to car allowance Deduction one to medical, deduction two to dental, three to life insure, four to RSP, and five to CSB, Canada Savings Bond. I'm going to add some additional fields to um, the employee records. So under additional payroll, we have these blank fields that we can customize. So I'm going to call this one emergency contact. And contact phone number. and other info. I'm also going to customize some entitlements. These are things like uh, flex days and sick days and whatnot. So I'm going to have uh, one for uh, sick days, comp days, and other. So days off with pay if effectively. Now I'm going to modify some of the income types and how they contribute um, to insurable hours for for EI. So if we look at set up settings payroll incomes, we can customize these things. Basically, how taxes are affected. So for commission, it does not contribute to insurable hours. Um, bonus does not contribute insurable hours. Car allowance, same thing. And income five. Income five is also the, uh, the type to piece rate, that is. I guess our employees uh, sometimes produce furniture and we pay them by the piece they produce. No insurable hours for that, I guess, because no hours are recorded for that job. And well, let's just change how some of these deductions are calculated. So RSP, we're going to change that to percent of gross. So this will be deducted before taxes. And then under entitlements, we're going to, so our employees generally work 7.5 hours in the in a work day. So for every hour worked, we it, it uh, we get 4.3% uh, of that towards a sick day, maximum 15 sick days. Comp days, we're going to give folks up to 10 comp days and three days for other reasons. 
and then I'll choose OK. So now that we've create, created those uh, custom deductions, we have to ch create some vendors that we remit the amounts that we deduct to. We also have to create some uh, payable accounts that will hold the amounts that we deduct. Then we have to link all of those together so that when we create a paycheck, the amounts are automatically put in those payable accounts. When we remit, uh, they're automatically taken out. So I'm going to go to uh, Payables and create some new vendors. So Canada Investment Corp. For our RSP. And uh, we'll make them customers since the beginning of the year. And I'll create another. Uh, Great West Insurance for medical, dental, dental, and life. Life insurance, that is. So, work safe, workplace safety and insurance board. Again, for workers' compensation. And finally, uh, Bank of Canada for our Canada Savings Bond. I'm also going to modify the Receiver General to be our supplier since the beginning of the year as well. So that's our suppliers for the customer deductions taken care of. Now I have to add the accounts that those amounts that we deduct are automatically placed into when we generate a paycheck. So I'm going to go to the uh, chart of accounts and I'll create a new account and this will be 2240 I'll use for dental payable and a class options employee deductions payable I'll create another 2250 medical payable same class options 2260 Life insurance payable. Twenty two seventy RSP payable. And finally twenty two eighty CSB payable. Now we got to link these accounts to our deductions. So I'm going to close my chart of accounts, set up settings, payroll, deductions, uh, sorry, linked accounts, deductions. There's our custom deductions, and I'm just going to choose those accounts. RSP payable and CSB CSP payable. And now I'm going to choose OK and now I'm going to link those deductions um, so that we remit to the correct suppliers.
So set up settings again. Payroll. Remittance. And WSIB is now that Workplace Safety and Insurance Board. Medical is Great West Life. Great West Insurance, I should say. Dental, same thing. Life insurance, same thing. And RSP is Canada Investment Corp. And CSB is Bank of Canada. So all of our remittances are linked, all of our deductions are linked to the correct payable accounts. So now when we generate paychecks, those, those amounts will automatically be calculated. So I'll choose OK. So I'm going to quickly add a new employee, and I'll add those custom deductions and the amounts that we deduct from that employee. When we, ch when we deduct a check, when we create a paycheck, we'll see that those amounts are automatically deducted, put in the pay correct payable accounts, and then we'll remit. I'll save that for another video, however, this one's getting long. So let's quickly create a new employee. So employees and payroll, and add an employee. I'm gonna dispense with the contact information this isn't actually a real guy, but in real life you do want to collect that, of course. So this is Fryson Ken. And his sin is three nine zeros. Birth date, May 10th, 87. Mail, hire date, Mar 1. Uh, jump over to taxes. This, we're in Ontario with this company. Personal amount is 11635. Provincial 10171. Under income, we pay them every two weeks. And we pay them $20, $21 an hour. He generally works 70 hours a week, and sometimes he works for time and a half, which is 3150, and no set amount there. He's a new employee, so he gets 4% vacation. And we're going to add it to each check. We're not going to retain it. Whoops, sorry. And then under additional info, you see those three custom fields, or those three fields that we customized there. So I'm going to say. Uh, Pamela Fryson. This is emergency contact. And her phone number is. And I'm going to say has a pacemaker. Now I'm going to jump over to his deductions, and you see there's the five deductions we customized and they're all checked off we just created this employee so these new deductions will automatically be added to the check so 2250 for medical dental nineteen dollars life insurance twenty dollars RSP six percent and CSB $50. And I'm going to just quickly um, customize some existing employees as well. So I'm going to move over to um, Mark Polson. There we go. I'll quickly jump over to Mark Polson. And I'm going to add some of those deductions and income types that we customized to him as well. So under deductions, uh, 2250 for medical as well for him. 
dental, $19. Make sure you check the use column for those, otherwise they will not be calculated on, on the check. And under income, we're going to give him $100 for a car allowance. There it is there. Make sure you check that. And $100. Now we may give uh, Mark Poulsen a bonus in the future as well, so we have to make sure that's checked as well so that field is available on his paycheck. And maybe we may give him commissions, wages as well. So check anything that you require. Um, I'm also going to customize. Oh, so the deductions. Also RSP, sorry, four percent. I'm also going to customize Albert, or add those customized deductions to Albert, I should say. And so medical, dental, and that's all he gets. Twenty-two fifty. For medical, just like everybody else, ninety dollars for dental, and he also gets the use of the company car, which is a taxable benefit. So, if we go to income, you see we have benefits up here, and that amount is two hundred eighty dollars. All right, so that's basically uh, customizing um, deductions and incomes and then adding them to employees. Uh, we'll leave off here, and in the next video, I'll show you um, how we create the actual checks and then remit the deductions. So I'm just going to save and close. I'm all done. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.